Well, Sierra at Tahoe saw significant damage during last year's Caldor fire, but with some hard work and some assistance from state and federal agencies, the resort is starting to come back to life. Brian Hoffman takes us there. Over 220,000 acres burned, 782 homes destroyed, and entire towns evacuated. The Caldor fire left behind a scarred path of devastation all across El Dorado County. We were already preparing, doing everything we could. We had our snow fan guns going. And 2,000 acres of that was at Sierra at Tahoe Ski Resort. It's hard the first time you see it, but I think once you accept what happened, happened. We can't go back. We have to think about what it can be. It's still a beautiful place. Imagining what it could be is the mantra crews have been using while restoration efforts continue at the resort. But massive strides have already been made. We're looking at 150 feet of removal to every run. And hopefully that'll address all the hazardous trees um, and get the uh, mountain in a position where they can consider sort of opening. The amount of funding received to the RCD so far for the Caldor restoration is around 7.5 million, a portion of which will be going directly to help Sierra Tahoe rebuild. The exact number um, is probably going to be between 2 and 3.5 million, with the rest of it going into uh, Grizzly Flats and other private lands. While Sierra Tahoe has been closed all season long, they are having a special two-day opening event this weekend so patrons can come check out the recovery efforts that they've already made. The fun part is that people are going to have the chance to go out, scan their pass, take a lap, and then kick back out on the plaza. We've got live music all weekend. It's still a wonderful spot. Uh, there's still a lot of good here and there's a lot of rich history and let's not let that go. Let's 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 reimagine what this place can be. Covering the story, Brian Hoffman, 2 News. Now Sierra Tahoe will celebrate its 75th anniversary this Saturday and Sunday. There's going to be a party from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with two open lifts.